everyone, I'm Captain Logan, and it's time for another channel update. Wait, seriously, Cap, didn't you just do one of these, like, two weeks ago? Yes, but things are changing rapidly, so it's already time for another one. I have things I have to tell you about, okay? We're evolving rapidly. We're like a clone that is aged too quickly, you know? Like, Lex Luthor put us in the, in the oven and then baked us at 250 and took us out, and we were baby, like, ten minutes ago, and now we're Superboy or Bizarro. Probably closer to Bizarro. But anyway, uh, I got an update to the update follow-ups to things I told you about last time. I want to talk about Patreon. I want to talk about live shows. I want to talk about Rewind. I want to talk about everything. There's just lots of things going on. I got my little my little post-it note. I'm, I'm all ready to go. Look how prepared I am. I know it's double-sided, but this other side is just uh, ideas for videos I want to make. Um, you, you could like, you like snapshot that, and then you can see all the videos that, that I'm going to make. So that's... For people who care enough to do that, look, I just gave you, like, spoilers. SPOILERS! Anyway, how's it going, everybody? I'm in the bunker. I'm at the new Geek Evolution Studios. I'm so excited about it. I've been having tons of fun making videos down here. I've got more time to make videos than I did before because I have my own space now. I've got all this space to myself. I can record anytime I want to. So I'm going to bother you guys probably somewhat more frequently. I've been going for three to four videos a week. It could increase a little bit if I'm so inclined, if I just feel like making more stuff. I've been trying not to oversaturate things too much, but on the other hand, I have a lot of things that I really need to get done right now, so there could be an increase in output, which I think is not a bad thing right now, considering uh, I had a couple of months of not anything like as much output as I had had before, and that even I had said I would have because of health issues and because of the move and everything, so I'm kind of playing catch-up. So if you see your inboxes getting slightly more full because of me, that's the reason. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is requests. I have a bunch of requests that I need to catch up on. I know that's like my refrain. I know I say that a lot, but especially right now because I wasn't able to make any requests over the last several weeks, and uh, I said I would try to get one out a week, and the way the request tier works right now on Patreon is for $15 a month, you can get on the rotation for requests, and I'm trying to put those out as, human, as, as often as humanly possible. I used to promise monthly. I can't promise monthly anymore, but I'm going to get as close to that as I can, uh, hopefully once at least every two months. I haven't even been managing that because because, again, health issues and the move and stuff. So, I'm going to be really concentrating on the requests over the next couple of weeks, and you may see more of those than anything else. So, I just put one up today, or was it yesterday? Yesterday, on Demon in a Bottle, I've got another comic vault I'm probably going to try to get out this week. I've got movie reviews, I've got commentaries. I'm meeting with Vince later this week to do a commentary on Mask of Zorro, so look forward to that. Uh, lots of cool things coming from the, from the requesters. If you are interested in getting on that rotation, it's $15 a month on Patreon, or you can do a one-time one, and I will put you in the rotation just for that one time, and you can email me at the email in the About section on Geekvolution. I'll also try to put that in the link in the video, uh, excuse me, in the video description, a link in the video description, and I'll give you a... Uh, and I'll give you information about how to uh, PayPal a donation if you want to do it that way instead of going through Patreon, or you can just get on Patreon uh, and put in your $15 for one month. That will get you in the rotation, and you don't have to continue after that. So folks that have continued to stay at that tier and help me out, obviously I'm really grateful, and I really, really appreciate it. It is not necessary. You don't have to do that, although you'll drop to the end of the rotation if you come back, of course, naturally. So anyway, um, that's the request thing I'm going to be doing, working really hard on those and getting a bunch of those out so that I can fulfill all those requests from two, three, four months ago, and then you'll be uh, back in the rotation to get another one pretty soon. I'm going to be putting at least one of those out a week on, uh, I initially said Fridays, probably Saturdays now, uh, and like, don't hold me to that schedule, but more often that's what it'll be right now, assuming we keep the Captain Logan show on Thursdays. So, uh, uh, let me tell you about that. Um, originally, what I was working on was uh, three videos a week and then occasional How We Felt Abouts. I've been doing a lot of How We Felt Abouts lately. And uh, the way I was doing it is Monday, I would get out a rewind or if I wasn't done with a rewind, just some other kind of uh, kind of announcement.
analysis video, and then Wednesday was the Captain Logan show, and Friday was supposed to be a request. That was kind of the schedule I was working on. What I'm probably going to be doing now, assuming we keep the Captain Logan show on Thursdays, where we've moved it now, I don't know what this claw thing is, the claw! Tuesdays would be Rewind or another kind of analysis video. Thursdays would be the Captain Logan Show. Saturday would be Request with how he felt about and other things interspersed whenever they happen to happen. So uh, it could go back to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing if Thursdays doesn't work out. We did a Captain Logan Show a couple Thursdays ago. We didn't have a big turnout. We weren't sure why it might just be the holidays, but if it turns out that Thursday is just a really crappy day for people, uh, a DJ and I have talked about it, and we're willing to go back to Wednesdays if that's just a better day for folks. For whatever reason, we've always done really well on that day, and I want to keep the Captain Logan Show weekly. I love doing that show. It's so much fun hanging out with you guys, and uh, that's become really, really great and helpful for the channel. So that's a show that I'm going to keep doing every week, and if it needs to be on a, on a different day than Thursday, I will move it. Uh, but that's the, the plan right now. Now let me talk about Patreon a little bit more. Um, I am continuing as often as possible, and I'm at Eric's mercy on this, to do Geek Evolution After Dark with Eric for as long as he continues to be in town and as often as he has time to do it. As I've said, at nauseum the Captain Logan Show, he is very busy right now. He's doing his own thing. He's not able to make the channel a priority like he once was, so I'm really grateful to him anytime he can pop in, but please don't try to hold us to uh, twice a month or even necessarily once a month on After Dark right now. We're doing them whenever he's got time to do them, and we're going to do one this week, and uh, hopefully there will be some more after that. But because of that, uh, I gotta make sure that folks are getting their bang for their buck on Patreon. Uh, Patreon has become the bread and butter for the channel. This is the main way that I'm able to make this my full-time job and to be able to prioritize it and put the kind of hours into it that I'm able to, uh, especially considering I'm also a full-time dad and I, I have three kids and I stay home and so I'm doing this on top of raising three kids uh, you know, 50, 60 hours a week. So I want to give you guys cool stuff in order to continue to make it worth your while to support the channel if you were so inclined to do that. And as I've always said, I really appreciate folks just being here and watching us and the fact that anybody cares about what I have to say about anything re remains amazing and is the main reason I do this. But again, in order to validate uh, doing it, you know, the, the amount of hours full time like I do, um, I have to try to make it, you know, as economically viable as possible. If you're not able to help me with that, that's fine. Thanks a bunch for watching. Really appreciate it. For the folks that I, uh, that do do that or, um, might consider doing that, I want to try to make it as worth your while as, as I can. And so if after dark can't happen as often, I need to replace it with something. I uh, don't freak out. After Dark will still continue as long as Eric is around and as often as he's able to, but I want to go ahead and put in what would be its replacement now so that in, in case that doesn't happen, there's still something cool that you're getting. And what I'm uh, adding to it right now is basically solo After Darks, and I'm going to make this as cool as I can, and hopefully uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to bring in other co-hosts whenever I can, but very often it will just be me or just be me and DJ, and it's going to be Captain Logan After Dark, and we're going to make it an after show for the Captain Logan show. I don't know how often I'm going to do these yet. I'm just going to play it by ear and see how much interest it, there, there is and see what kind of turnouts we have just with patrons. This will be another live show on top of the Captain Logan show. So you can hang out with me throughout the evening now. Uh, we're going to have the Captain Logan show. It's going to go for an hour, sometimes a little bit longer as it often does, depending on Super Chats and interests and what we're talking about. I'm not going to shaft the Captain Logan show for the sake of this new Patreon-only show. It's going to be an additional thing. I'm doing it the same evening because it's more convenient for me and because there's already a crowd there, so more folks might already just have the time to stick around and hang out. Very often when I finish a Captain Logan show, a lot of people get disappointed and say, why can't you go longer? This is going to be our way of going longer, and if you're so inclined and want to continue watching, uh, all you got to do is become a patron at $2 a month. That $2 a month also gets you uh, the ability to throw topics at me. I'm not going to have that at any higher tier. Uh, at one time, we had a topic tier. No longer. If you are a patron, uh, I, I won't promise to answer your questions, but I will uh, look at all of the questions and I'll take the, the, the and, and topics and I'll take the coolest ones. 
What, it, what then, Captain Logan, is the difference between the Captain Logan show and Captain Logan After Dark if you're just doing more Q&A? It seems like all you do now is Q&A. Um, although, that is not a complaint I get very much. People seem to really enjoy the Q&A thing. But I can see someone saying that. Captain Logan, all you do now is Q&A. What is the difference with this show? Well, I'll tell you. I, I'm going to be taking some pre-written stuff so you don't have to necessarily show up to the show in order to participate. That's one thing. We don't take pre-written questions for the Captain Logan show very often. You Usually it's just live viewers. I suspect there won't be anything like as many folks there for Captain Logan After Dark, and I want to make sure that there's enough material uh, and enough fun stuff for me to prattle on about, and I want to uh, kind of format it like Geeklution After Dark has been, even if it's just me. So I'll bring a topic or two, you guys can throw topics at me, and I'll take topics from that list every week, uh, or as often as I do it. And also, I'll take stuff from the live audience, assuming there is a live audience. If nobody shows up, I will still make a show. I will speak to the ether. And if nobody is there, I will make sure that I have enough material to cover for an hour. And if I don't have enough material, I will make something up. But we are going to have a lot of fun. It will be uncensored, like Geekvolution After Dark always has been. Uh, we'll talk about anything and everything under the sun. You guys can throw stuff at me that is uh, that, that I might be somewhat uncomfortable talking about, and I'll do my best to, to make something out of it and make it interesting. Um, it seems like sometimes people just really watch like watching me squirm. If you want to do that, that's the show to do that. Uh, if you... Like, I will try to answer as many things as I can. I, I, I'm making it sound like I'm going to cherry pick more than I am. Um, I, like, there might be some topics that just I can't go on for very long about. It's just like a real quick question. Uh, but we'll have that with live questions, too. So, you know what? I'm going to address... I, I'm going to change this here, right now, as, as I'm talking. I'm just going to address everything, whatever it is. Even if I don't think it's a great it's a great question or topic, whatever. Uh, you guys are helping me out with the channel, uh, helping me to make this a viable thing to do full-time. I, I, will, I will answer anything you guys want me to answer. I can't promise a great answer. I can't, pro I can't promise insights or nothing. But, um, yeah, if, if, you're, if you're a patron and you ask me something for Captain Logan After Dark, I will bring it up and mention it just like a super chat. Um, we we will think of these like super chats, no matter what they are. No matter what they are, I will address them. Uh, if it's really super deeply personal and makes me ultra uncomfortable, um, I may not go into massive detail. I can't promise that. Uh, I'll promise that I won't completely dodge and deflect. I'll say that, but... Um, I'm willing to talk about anything on that show. Uh, we'll drink a little bit on that show. I guess by we, I mean myself. Uh, just to kind of loosen up and have a good time. We'll get real silly on that show. Uh, expect Thursday nights to get progressively sillier as they go along. Uh, Captain Logan show has always been real loose and um, and, and, and kind of silly, uh, but or sometimes silly. This show, probably a lot more so. And so it is, you know, way an extension of Geek Flution After Dark, but the, the possibilities are limitless. Again, it is completely uncensored. Swearing might happen, uh, talking about... Uh, uh, you know, more controversial subjects might happen. And so uh, I hope that sounds fun to some folks. And if it goes well, uh, I will do it as often as it makes sense to do it. I don't know if that will be weekly. Uh, if there is enough interest and enough folks show up for it, I will absolutely consider making it weekly. And then it will be even more bang for your buck than you got with Geek Flution After Dark because we only did that twice a month. This could end up being four times a month, assuming there's enough interest. I don't want to saturate it. I don't want to... Uh, throw stuff at you that you don't care about. So if this doesn't go well, if there's no interest, I will go back to the drawing board and I will drop it. Or uh, if there's enough interest for like twice a month but not more, I'll do it that way. So uh, I, this is not hard and fast at all. I'm experimenting right now. We'll see how it goes. If anybody has cool ideas for things I could do with that show, let me know. I'm totally open to any and all suggestions. Gonna bring Superhero Rewind back next week. Can't promise weekly again like I was doing before, but I'm gonna really, really try. Um, again, with requests, it may be a while before it's that often, but I just wanna get some of those knocked out before I start going to uh, one, one request a week. And then, you know, more if I've got the time. Uh, but I need certainly to also prioritize Rewind. So I'm going to get a new one of those up next week. So look forward to that. Finally, I'm bringing back Mailbag Day. Yeah, Mailbag Day. People have been asking me for years, Hey, Cap, where's your P.O. box? How come you don't have one? 
I gotta level with you guys, I hated having a P.O. box. It was awful. I didn't like going to the post office. I didn't like waiting in line when the parcel was too big. I didn't like the limited hours they had. It wasn't real conducive with my schedule, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I just really disliked dealing with the post office. It seemed like no matter how often I came, it wasn't often enough for them, which was really cool because it's an estimate to how often we got mail, and that was really neat from you guys going back that far that sent me stuff. But um, I don't want to do that anymore. So I am going, however, to continue taking mail. Uh, people ask me all the time if they can send me stuff, um, stuff for review. Uh, and let me mention, by the way, that if you send me something to review, um, I will, of course, definitely do it if it is accompanied with a request. Uh, if it's not, I will try to get to it, but I cannot promise anything just because I'm, I'm busy. There's a lot going on. So, um, if you send a thing, please know that I cannot promise that I will absolutely um, get to it in a timely fashion. But uh, sometimes people like to send stuff just to see what my reaction is when I open up a package and uh, just to let me know that something exists in the first place. Sometimes people like to send me their own work, uh, their own uh, writing and comics and stuff like that. And uh, it's and, and sometimes people like to just send things for the collection, which is really neat of you guys. And nobody, of course, ever has to do that, but I get requests for it a lot. So this is not me begging for stuff, of course, any more than I'm begging for money on Patreon. It's just, it's there if you want to support the channel. And I am forever grateful to anyone who has or will ever do that. So I am opening up the, uh, the mailbag again, and I will do regular mailbag days if uh, we get enough stuff and, um, and I'll open stuff on camera. If you want to send me something, uh, send me a personal message either on, on Geeklution's Facebook or again at the email that is hopefully in the description and also in the about page on Geeklution's Facebook, excuse me, Geeklution's YouTube. And um, I will send you a, an address privately that you can mail something to. I don't want to make the uh, mailing address public, of course, but um, I'm going to do this on a person-to-person -person basis, and uh, I'll give you an address that you can send something to if you are so inclined to do that. And uh, I'll start putting something about that in videos so that people know that I am taking mail. I just don't have a regular P.O. box anymore. So send me a message if there's something you really want to send me, and I will uh, and and uh, I will do a video on it when it gets here. Um, that is, I believe, everything. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please let me know. Uh, send me a message in either of those places and um, I will answer you as quickly as I can. And um, I'm just going to experiment and uh, keep things kind of open and see how stuff goes, uh, running this a little bit more solo. And uh, it's funny I say that because I, I've already uh, had some folks uh, on the channel since we moved. Uh, Brandon's done a video. Um, Eric's done a video. I'm going to have people in and out. I just shot a video. I mentioned this on an impromptu live show I did last week. Which, by the way, thanks everybody who showed up to who showed up to the impromptu show. Uh, that I just did on a whim. I was supposed to shoot with Eric that night, and he got busy and wasn't able to make it. And I was like, okay, I'll just do a show by myself. And we had a big crowd, and nobody was even expecting it. And it was after midnight. It was late. We went till two in the morning, and uh, it was all kinds of fun. It was great. So thanks a bunch to everybody who popped in for that. And um, that won't be the last time that happens. That was a lot of fun. I'll do that again at some point. But uh, anyway, so um, why did I bring that up? Uh, I, I, oh, oh, I, I, I mentioned on that show that I, I shot a comic vault with uh, a new guy, Kareem, who was absolutely fantastic. That will post hopefully next week. It might have to be the week after, but hopefully next week. And um, so I'm bringing them some new blood. I'm trying some different things, but I'm also doing a whole bunch of stuff by myself. I'm not going to wait for people anymore if there's something I really want to review and I just don't have a co-host at the ready. So that could mean more videos than anybody wants. We'll see how it goes. Again, I don't want to go crazy and saturate too much, but I'm also getting so many requests to talk about TV shows that are on right now and movies that have been out for a while and all kinds of things. Um, people seem to enjoy that video I did on Arrow the other day. Uh, I'm working on, I'm working my way through Flash. I'm going to do for this season. I'm going to do one for that as well. Uh, so I don't know. It's, it's hard to limit the number of videos and also do 
uh, a lot of the stuff that folks are asking for. I can't do everything, obviously, um, but I have more time now than at least to shoot. I mean, I'm still you know super busy, but I'm not limited as to what time of day I can shoot anymore, which is super awesome. So uh, you guys might hear, hear more rambling and prattling on from me. If you get really, really sick of it, um, then I won't, I won't post this often. But I will try to continue to make it as fun and interesting as possible. Patreon.com slash GeekVolution if you are so inclined to jump in at just the $2 tier and get access to Captain Logan After Dark as well as GeekVolution After Dark. And uh, Captain Logan is in both of those things. But one of them is with another person and the other one is me sometimes with other people. That's, that's how that works. And uh, fifteen dollar tier is the request tier. Also, uh, five dollar tier. And by the way, um, right now we've got eight there. Uh, I will cap it off at twelve, but uh, there's slots open to go up to twelve. And then um, at the five dollar tier, you can join the secret superhero screen society. Uh, I, I've had that around long enough now. I can say it without fumbling. And that is the uh, exclusive Facebook group for Geeklution's Patreon, where you can chat with uh, several folks. We've got about 40 members there uh, right now, and uh, including uh, Eric and Dan and myself. And uh, you can talk about superhero movies and other um, pop culture stuff, but uh, mostly it's it's about superhero movies. And uh, we have a lot of really interesting discussions, and we have a lot of fun there. So um, consider that if you're so inclined as well. And um, you guys are great. I sure appreciate you. And I will see you again uh, very shortly with lots more videos. The Captain Logan Show, Thursday night, 7 o'clock. And then uh, we're playing the after show by ear when uh, that night. So if the Captain Logan Show runs late, it could start as late as 9 central time. Uh, or it could be a little bit earlier than that. We'll take like a 15 minute break probably in between shows and then come back with Captain Logan After Dark. The DJ may or may not be there. It just depends on how late in the evening it goes probably. I imagine sometimes he'll be there and sometimes he won't. It's totally up to him. Uh, but, in, but anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.